once again, it was just all about, you know, how our native people uh, are doing things the wrong way or have taken this bird in, in, in a bad way and that it was poached and that it was dismembered and we taken apart disrespectfully and that wasn't even the case. When the first came out, it saddened my heart a lot. But this relative was brought down from off this tree, you know, in a bad way. We went through three ceremonies. That's the way we see this bird, you know. It's no different than from... I also have a, a strong church background, too, and, and when I look back into the scriptures, as I shared with uh, one of the, the news people here, you know, how many times will you see the eagle being mentioned or talked about in the scriptures, you know? It's the same way we Native people think about this eagle that has strong meaning, strong ways of offering up our prayers and helping us to understand who God is all about through the life of our relative, the eagle. Helps us to understand about him, his awesomeness, his power, his gentleness. All the feathers from the plume to the, to the talons, everything, those all have special meanings to us. So in no way, you know, was this bird taken disrespectfully or, you know, without respect or regard to his life or to the law. You know, so I think what we're trying to do here and what is happening here is we're just only trying to break down some of the stereotypes that have been built through the years that we're special people just like any other people. It was alleging that the person who had possession of that evil was doing something wrong or something dark or something evil. And I think that's the hurtful thing that came out of this more than anything else was the way it was reported and the way it was said. So this gentleman and his family and people who are affiliated with him had to go through that and had to feel that and were put in fear. That's the part that I think is so disturbing and why everyone is down here. For a, a big part of the reason why everybody is down here. The concern over the cover, is that from before it came out that the eagle was from the depository or after? It, it didn't matter. It was, the majority of it came from before. <clears throat> statements that that were made and that Mr. Pino so eloquently put was the way it was described, the way the use was described, the way that it was automatically assumed that it was a ritual killing and, and, and the way they described the carcass. It was done in a very negative sense. And that not only hurt Mr. Pino, but it hurt every native person here, adult down to child. And it made you concerned because it now painted a dark picture of, whoa, what are these Indians doing? You know, so if and, and, and it makes people start to think, especially children. Well, if I wear my feathers off, they people are going to say something. Or what are they going to think about me? I think that's one of the most disturbing things about about this whole incident. So you have a lot invested in this in this relative. So when this is take removed from the spot, can you? I guess in the, the, the closest way I can describe it is like. <clears throat> Right now, the media back east, when those people that desecrated that graveyard, those workers, and they dug people up and put them in, you know, put them all together so they could resell the plots or something like that. You, you probably heard those people, the relatives being upset, and the great some of the grave markers were gone. Some of the relatives were buried for many years, and they don't even know where some of their, their relatives are anymore. And in the same way for us, when that ego was taken, it, it, it hurt us that way. It, it's, it's, you know, uh, it's, it's indescribable what I felt and how the media was portraying me and uh, it wasn't even close to who I am as an individual. That's what I'm all about. 